Hi, I'm Roy Matthews and this is a short demonstration of how to photograph your artwork. Ideally, place your artwork on a dark or black background so no colour or light reflects back into your artwork. Smaller artworks can be shot from overhead, either standing on a chair or a small step ladder. Harsh lighting can cause shadows and glares on your artwork, so ideally use a soft window light or if you're shooting outside, shoot in overcast conditions. It's important that the camera doesn't move during the exposure. Ideally mount your camera on a tripod or on a flat table or surface. Get the camera absolutely parallel with the artwork. If the artwork's on a slight tilt, as it is here against the wall, you'll need to slightly tilt the camera to match the angle of the artwork. For the best results and the best quality, set your ISO to the lowest setting. That's normally 200 or 100, depending on your camera model. Also make sure your auto ISO is switched off. When shooting with an SLR, make sure you're zoomed in to at least 70 millimetres, if not a longer focal length. This will avoid any distortions and curvature to the edges of your artwork. If your lens has image stabilisation on vibration reduction, make sure if the camera is mounted on a tripod that that is switched off. Using autofocus should be absolutely fine for photographing your artwork this way. However, if you find the camera has problem focusing, then switch to manual focus. If you're shooting your artwork indoors and using window light, i.e. daylight as your light source, then make sure you have any tungsten or electric lights, other lights inside the room switched off. Otherwise, these will affect the colour balance. To keep the colours faithful to the original artwork, I'd suggest starting by setting the camera to auto white balance. If you find that the picture is either too yellow or too blue from this point, then try adjusting using other settings. A very important point is to make sure the centre of the lens is pointing directly at the centre of the artwork. Otherwise, you'll get some kind of distortion top and bottom of the picture. If possible, leave a small amount of area around the picture for cropping later. Keep this area to an absolute minimum so you're making the maximum from your sensor and getting the biggest image size. If you find your image is too light or too dark, you can use your exposure compensation function on your camera to adjust accordingly. Be sure to take a series of pictures and before breaking down your set, make sure to check your images for quality on the computer and that way you can take some more pictures if necessary. Before saving your image, it's necessary to crop away any background, trimming the image right in and leaving no margin 